so guys today we are making a braid brush uh, for hair a rope a carpet where you want to use so in order to make a brush like this we need to model a part uh, for it and then we gonna assign that uh, model uh, to a IMM brush so that it could be repeated okay so let's start I'm starting with a cylinder so in this cylinder <coughs> go to the initial tab in the tools menu on the down bottom and type here 8 division in height and 15 division in Mm. this radius ring you have to hit enter otherwise it won't work 8 enter yeah so I got something like this now I want to straight stretch it to the top I can't be done from here because it is on the maximum size uh, you can shrink the uh, y value but uh, it's better than yeah it's better than uh, you stretch and it will be really easy okay so I'm just switching to my move tool here and if you press alt over here it will snap to the alt and click on the bottom okay it will look like this then scale it to the top and I'm trying to achieve a quad at similar to quad okay something like that okay so now I'm switching to my draw mode and I just want to mask two division from the top uh, uh, sorry we first make it uh, make polymesh 3d okay now it's the 3d object it can be uh, edit okay so you mask two segments from the top and three segments from the bottom and you have to uh, mask three seg uh, three division and leave two up division and three down division okay then mask okay so now select the move tool again and invert the mask and move it like this so it will look like this similar to okay now what I am trying to achieve here <coughs> this point is aligned to this almost it's aligned to this okay yeah this will work so this is what I got now I want to remove these these and these edges so for that I am switching to Z modeler tool uh, shortcut is B Z and M okay now hover on this edge uh, press and hold space and select delete and select edge loop complete okay now click on this it will remove click on this it will remove click on this and this okay so you will get something like this and from the side view it looks like this so what you need to do just convert to your mask um, brush and select on the second row uh, of division and again one leave one then mask again leave one then mask again leave one then mask again now invert this mask and switch to move and you will get something uh, holding shift uh, if you moving through the axis you can hold shift it will snap to the align okay and I'm trying to get this uh, stair effect and from the side view it's 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 like uh, this and the front view it's like this 
to understand i'm also getting a three quarter view okay it's something like this okay so you got your side view like this and your front view like this now we need to duplicate three times uh, to the top so for that i'm cl alt and clicking here the mm, manipulator is switching down and if you click alt and shift then it will be aligned to your axis yeah okay now click if you have a um, sub tool which doesn't have any divisions then you can do this thing hold control alt and move it bit bit to the top and you can hold shift also uh, before that we need to add a division of loop uh, I forgot it so uh, switch back to Z modeler tool BZM BZM yeah now hover on the edge sp hold space insert insert multi edge loop okay you have to select this one and you have to click on this edge like this if you drag it will create much uh, loops but if you click then it will create on the middle uh, center loop okay so something like this something okay so here is what i got uh, i remove that edges uh, on the first place because it's really easy to make this particular straight angle with this okay then control w it will create a polygroup control w yeah now we can duplicate this three times go to the move tool alt alt shift click and eight uh, alt shift click and drag on this vertex a little bit okay so now control alt move it to the top and we have to align it over here somewhere yeah uh, something as as close to that um, um, this loop it will be fine but uh, if you miss a little bit then again it will be something like this okay so it's it has to go one step left yeah so here we got auto group draw mode so here what we getting now so uh, we need this portion only so I'm going to create a selection control shift and I can move with space holding space now I'm masking this to this yeah so what will happen if uh, this duplicate to the top it will align to this vertex to this vertex automatically okay now delete hidden so that we don't need that unwanted geometry yeah and uh, now, mm, let's make an insert brush of it select this sub tool and go to brush create create insert mesh and new and if you want then you can rename it so that the bread uh, now let's go to create insert mesh new now it will rename as your sub tool just brush and go to a sphere or something and because we selected it in a create insert mesh now if you drag on 
this subject let me make me it poly mesh 3d if you drag it then it will come up like this okay so now next part is uh, assigning it to a IMMM brush so now go to the brush yeah now create auto group yeah now go to strokes and by selecting this brush stroke go to curve and turn on curve mode and if you drag it now then it will be more like what you need but it is not uh, working properly as we think so to fix this uh, you need to go to brush curve uh, sorry not curve it's modifiers and turn off your tripods turn on your weld points turn on your stretch curve resolution is maximum max bend angle is maximum okay now if you draw now then you should get this kind of result what you more looking for and if you see this then this curve is uh, on the surface and the blade is on the curve okay if you can adjust this distance with brush and depth you can reduce this and if you drew it then it will be more like to into the surface you can like this is the before it is after and if you have it on the center of this like something this and it will be uh, penetrating your mesh right now okay so and one more thing if you go outside of your model on the canvas and turn um, let's draw first once yeah now if you what is yeah now if you increase your brush size now outside of your canvas like this and click on this curve it will increase your brush size uh, it means if you uh, mistakenly drawing it too closely and you get to know that it is too thin unit thicker then you can go to can outside of a canvas and increasing its brush size and click on this edge it will be uh, working like this okay now one more thing uh, now we got the bread and if you want to make any carpet or mm, rope it will fine but if you want to uh, make hairs then it should be taper on the start and point start and end points okay so to doing this what you need to do go to this curve function sorry the curve modifiers and turn on your size okay now if you draw then it will be look like this okay so if you want that your starting should be bigger and the ending should be thinner then you need to flip this uh, arch okay so by doing this you can do that easily see okay so now this end part is too thinner <coughs> sorry so i want to make it bigger so you can adjust this curve to up like this and add a point over here and something it's downwards like this okay now if you draw then it will be you will getting more like this objects okay starting should be uh, slightly narrowing and then it increase the is uh, thickness in the between and it's uh, more like tapering in the end so so yeah now it's pretty close to your what you need and 
yeah I, i'm giving you this brush in uh, gumroad yeah i will giving this in uh, gumroad you can download this the link given in the description so yeah you hope you enjoy it and have some fun and yeah if you like this then please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up and share this with your friends yeah see you next time bye bye